Hello, my name is Israel Gross, and I'm a Principal Solutions Advisor at Rocket Software. Today, I want to talk to you about the offerings that IBM and Rocket provide to assist in the problem analysis and performance tuning of your Kix environment. I've been working with Kix systems and applications for many years, and I find there's a three-step process to solving Kix problems, regardless of whether they are related to the applications running or the system itself. I call that method DVS, which stands for Detect, Verify, and Solve. In order to detect an issue in a Kix application or the Kix system itself, you need a monitor. Here is the Omegamon for Kix product, and you can see from the very first screen, we identify Kix regions in a grouping called a Kixplex. We show you things like transaction rate, CPU utilization, worst performance index. And if I shift over to the right, you can see there's even more detail associated with this page. Total ICES, highest max task region, IO rate. Basically, this is information that you could highlight, as you can see in different colors, to identify problems that possibly are occurring in kicks. With the monitor itself, you can then drill down from the Kixplex to individual Kix regions. And you can see one of my regions is running quite a number of tasks. So let's drill down there. And then it'll give you this Kix region overview page. And you can see down here the transactions that are physically running. Now, Kix transactions are supposed to run sub seconds. So when everything is working really well, you'll see that these transactions complete very quickly. And it would be hard for me to do any analysis unless it was running very slowly. And even if it's running slowly, by the time I move my cursor down here and select it, the task may be long gone. The good news is, is monitoring products such as Megamon keep a task history of what had just ran. And so you could see things like related, show me all the other tasks in the system that were related to this one. Show me the programs that you ran and the cost of running those programs in terms of CPU and response time. Show me the IO rate and what IOs the task was physically doing. So this task history detail will give you some ability to do some problem analysis should this task have caused a problem, right? However, the problem is that normally we would use this monitor to detect the problem. And most monitors, what they will do is they will alert you to the problem occurring so you don't have to sit here and look at the screens all day long. And in some cases, they can even remediate the problem. However, this is a short-term solution because the problem can occur again and again. So you want to permanently solve the issue that's creating the problem. The problem with using the data in a monitor to do this is if you take a look at my system and you have a look at how long it keeps the data for, you can see I have enough space to keep the data for an hour and 58 minutes in the current rate of processing. So you never know if you have enough information to collect the data that you want, and if you have enough time to go back and do any sort of analysis on the data other than during a short period of time. So the monitor is really there to detect the problem, possibly resolve the issue so the kick system does not come down. But the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to verify the type of problem you had and identify whether or not this is a short problem, a one-off problem. Has this been occurring for a long period of time? For that, for the verification step, I use an IBM product called Kix Performance Analyzer. And Kix Performance Analyzer will analyze SMF 110 records, and it will give you a way of producing reports on both Omegamon data as well as SMF data to see whether or not you have a trend, whether this problem is ongoing. So let's go and take a look at that for a moment. Kix Performance Analyzer, again, is a tool that basically allows you to report on the SMF data, SMF 110 type one or type two records, which is the Kix monitoring facility records or CMF records, so that you can take a look and see how your system was running or how the transactions in your system were running over a period of time. Now, if I go into report forms, option three here, for example, and I click on samples, the key is 
that this product will allow you to run reports that we've already pre-built for you. So you can see, I can select from up to 257 individual reports. I have summary reports, right, which summarizes data over a period of time. I have list reports, which is our form of detail reports. And you can see down here, I can do things like top 20 worst TCB changes, top 20 worst CPU times, right? And because the SMF data is kept for longer periods of time than the monitoring data, I will use the Kix Performance Analyzer to verify that the problem detected by my monitor is something that isn't going to go away by itself. So effectively, I can look for trends within the data. Maybe the problem occurs every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. By using this product, I can produce reports that will show me where my problem actually is. So once you've detected and verified that you have a problem, the next thing is to solve that problem. Most of the time when you're having a Kix system or an application problem, it's related to some application running in your Kix environment. The best way to try and solve these problems is to try and figure out what the application is doing that is causing the issue. For that, solving the problem, I happen to use a rocket product called CProf. CProf is a product that collects Kix trace but doesn't actually run in a Kix system. The good news is, is that there's no additional overhead in the Kix environment other than having trace turned on to collect the data as you're running transactions in the world of Kix. Now, this particular product is quite sophisticated because it can collect data across multiple Kix systems, aggregate it all together for you, and put it in a place where you can read it. Plus, it gives you this summarization view so that you can actually view the data without being a total Kix expert. So let's show you an example. I'm going to turn on CProf, and I'm going to ask it to collect trace in seven different regions at the same time. So now I'm profiling seven different regions at the same time. I'm going to go over to CICS, and I'm going to run a bunch of transactions, a pay transaction, I'm going to read some data from a file. I'm going to update this record with some changed data. And then I'm going to hit PF3 and exit the application. I actually ran five transactions. I'm going to go back and I'm going to stop the collection. And I'm going to go and take a look and see what I collected. So if I look to see whatever I've collected in the last 30 minutes, you can see the five different transactions. Now, this doesn't look anything like trace. If you wanted to see the pure and actual trace, you could put a T next to any of these things, and this is what Kix trace looks like. And unless you're a Kix expert, it'd be very hard to solve a problem looking at the data in this format. What CProf provides for you, so let's just select it the CProf way, is CProf will give you a summarization of all the commands that your program's issued. It tells you what program you're in, how long the command took, and even what statement number it was on, and possibly an offset into the program where this command was issued, and to the right you can see actual data. Now, CProf will collect this information across multiple Kix systems. You can see I started in one region, I moved to another region, and then I moved to yet a third region. So I've tracked this transaction as it stepped through several different Kix environments. And I can easily take a look at the elapsed time to see if any of these commands took a long time to execute. So I use CProf to forensically analyze the application that ran and to determine if I can figure out which program, which statement is causing the problems. And that's how I would solve the problem in Kix. So just to recap, I use a three-step process for solving Kix problems, whether they are system or application related. I would use a monitor to detect the problem and hopefully solve it immediately. Then I would go back and use Kix Performance Analyzer for verification to make sure I have that problem. Obviously, the solution that I got from the monitor is only short term. The problem can occur again and again and again. So I want to permanently solve it. 
So Kicks PA will verify where the problem is, and then I will use CProf to forensically analyze the application to see where the changes are required to permanently solve the problem. Thank you for joining.